Brad. So, despite the challenges I faced earlier this year with infection and the resulting operation in hospital, I'm absolutely very impressed with the improvements I made since I last saw you. Got a lot to report. So, one of the remarkable things is, is the comfort I have in my spine. I wrote a blog post this time last year, mm. titled Comfort Zone and Laughter, and it was about going off camping for a night. The show, some friends of mine were there, and I was having a lot of trouble, you know, surviving, roughing it for a night and sitting with aching in the spine, yes? But we also laughed a lot, and we laughed so much I had to be so careful because it just hurt my spine, that laughter just got into that real weakness. Yeah. But anyway, this year I went to the same event, and I camped for three days, and I just for had... For three a, days? For three, three nights. And last year... And four days and three last nights. Last year it was the same length. The, the, the same event, but last year it was a day. Last year I went for the day and the night. Ah, so it was just one? Yes, this year I went for three times as long and, and I, I just had a great weekend, was comfortable, all I needed was... Did a you laugh less? Cushion on the floor. No, I don't think we laugh less. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes it kind of um, so, quantifiable, right? So yes. you take the same intensity of laughing, expand it by the factor of three, mm. so that's... And last year, like we get the half deduction on how you were last year, right? So you see, if you measured in the units of laughing, so you're six times better this year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it makes it quantifiable, right? So you see, maybe one can say that's a sort of arbitrary units, but on the other hand, these are very like tangible units, right? Yes. So very much yes. the life quality yes. dependent there's, there's, ones. There's right? dramatic improvement. Now. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. That's yes. cool. Yes, and um, a lot of improvement at the C7 level. I've worked hard on that and I've felt those connections radially to particularly that damaged shoulder, mm -hmm. which has improved the stability in that shoulder and the, you know, the range of movement in it. Sounds much good. Improved. So there's a, there's a lot going on there. That's great. Well, I mean, considering the fact that you had quite an ordeal, that's... Mm -hmm. I know, and then how many times you were on this side? Like at least four or five times? Yes. Um, so it's like it was a, it was a full body. Probably, probably four times. Yeah, so yeah. it was a, you know, and it was a full thing. It, it was very full and I lost an awful lot of weight, an awful lot of tone in my body. Yeah, so I mean, you know, but not only gonna... in general improvements in I lost saw you, but I had to bounce back from... Yeah, from, from that. I mean, you were yeah. one would imagine, you know, so yeah. effectively four general anesthesias in the space of a month. Yes. So that's a heavy toll for anybody. Yes. By any, by any standards. <clears throat> yes. So and uh, yeah, that's impressive. Good. You know, and it's impressive both in terms of you know whichever way you put it, right? And in, in if you put it in a way that you know the, the fundamental sort of ideas behind the vitality and health is that essentially anyone might get into some sort of trouble and get ill, right? But mm -hmm. So the key question is that how well do you hold through that crisis period? And the second essential question is that how well do you bounce back? Mm -hmm. So if that is the reference, I must say that you've done remarkably beyond expectations. <laughs> well, thank you. well, I mean, which is, again, if you put it that way, right, remarkably beyond expectations, that also highlights the underlying sort of quality parameters, right? So that you know, this, yes. let's, let's call it in that sense a uh, distributed health properties, right? So you see that's not just some kind of, you know, the, just particular vitality signs like uh, blood tests and whatever, right? But more the overall mm. background as the recovery potential. Mm. So that's mm. really, yeah, that's really impressive. Well, I mean, again, I, I, I told you, right, that, you know, so we haven't seen each other for this, like, 10 months, right? You know, yes. September to November, or November to September. Mm -hmm. So, and reading about your ordeal, I was and now also hearing in better detail, you know, kind of imagining you 
10, 12 kilos less and with all that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm quite happy I haven't seen you this, this period, you know, it's just my, my image became, my, my, my image of you my, remains very much like uninterrupted to say, oh wow, you know, right. still welcome back, you know, good to see mm -hmm. you, you're in good spirits, good shape and so on, we like, like, almost nothing happened, right? right, you know, like, basically, that's just a story in the background and that's the way to make that ideal to convert it into just a kind of campfire story that's <laughs> a huge achievement in itself right so you know of course you have the like the so far meanwhile you still have the mm -hmm. colostomy back to show to prove and some scars to prove that that whole yes. thing was actually yes. true yes. yes but on the other hand so since this is going to be removed quite soon and you're going to be back to the regular bowel activities so mm -hmm. in fact that there would be less and less visible exactly. sort of evidence left and yeah cool yeah. that's great